Hello, you all. I ain't even noticed this, but my hand way too ashy. <laughs> oh, that. All right, y'all. You already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages. The download is. I don't know if y'all ever watched the. Uh, I think it was the first Bad Boys. And remember when he was like, he don't let nobody touch his camera. So somebody got something in a phone or on some type of camera or some type of device. He don't let nobody touch his camera. And that's what just went across my mind. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, somebody hiding something with the moon. Somebody's hiding something. Yeah, this person is hiding something. They very guarded about their camera. Could be a cancer. Somebody got cancer in their chart. But let's see. What would our Elohim like us to know about this? Don't nobody touch this camera. Somebody could be Jamaican. Nobody touch this camera. Oh, yeah, whatever it is. It, it could be something that in somebody or something like that with the Ten of Swords. It may end something or... Then with the chariot and then the eight of pentacles. Yeah, somebody will lose something here. Somebody will be looking to lose something. Something that they work for it could be their reputation, their success, them having balance here. If anybody was to touch this person camera or phone, it may hurt this person's reputation or possibly even somebody else's. Somebody could be staring at somebody. There's two snakes here. Somebody could be staring at somebody. It's something about some sort of abundance here. Maybe somebody is betraying somebody or somebody betrayed somebody. You got the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles to the devil with the magician. Somebody manipulated is manipulating something or trying to manipulate something somehow. Maybe by what they're staring at and looking at. Because this person is on their knees like they're worshiping somebody, right? So maybe... Somebody seen something and got into this demonic energy and started to manipulate some sort of situation. Like something is weird. Manipulating a certain situation or some type of offer here. This could have happened in the past. And then we got the Knight of Wands.
somebody started doing something cruel. It can even be two people, because look, here are these two snakes, and then the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. These people did something cruel and manipulative with something that is in somebody's phone and or camera or about that. But whoever this feminine is, is focused on maybe even turning somebody to stone because look this person is on their knees laser focused on this on this statue trying to turn somebody to stone or something like that and this statue is it's, it's like you know it's naked what is this It seemed like some creepy shit. Whoever these two people is, they two karmics. They somebody could have did something to get some sort of attention here. Somebody did something to get some sort of attention and cause an ending. Or to get a victory with the six of wands to the death like this yes eight of swords somebody crazy somebody did something where they can go to jail too possibly for whatever this is somebody was did something thoughtless and careless i'm telling you yeah the law can get involved with this justice somebody can go to jail for whatever this is This is something sexual. Yeah, the wind just picked up outside. For real, somebody is hiding something. Somebody made a decision to do something dumb. Because this reading is weird. Like, what did you do? Some type of abundance could have been involved. Maybe somebody promised somebody some money, some riches, something. But whatever it is, it's downright cruel with the um with the devil. Somebody could have employed somebody to cause a loss for somebody and they was gonna pay them. Or they was looking to be abundant off of doing whatever this is, whatever this manipulative, cruel, dark, dumb shit is, can land somebody ass in jail and having to deal with the law. Cause it was thoughtless and careless. I mean, this part it, and it was the ultimate betrayal to send the swords. It may end up being some type of justice here. It could be an emperor. Something could be stressing the emperor out. An emperor. Somebody could be awakening to something. We have justice out here again. Somebody is awakening to something. The veil is being lifted up on something. Because something ain't right. Something is not right. Something is just so fishy about this. Yeah, seven of wands. Something hateful. A hateful attack. And there go the fool again. Thoughtless and careless. Somebody could be an Aries. Somebody could be a Libra. That's out here twice. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sag, Gemini. Leo. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody worried about something here with this nine of swords. Somebody could have wanted somebody to face some sort of embarrassment. Two people about to walk off defeated for real. Two snakes. Just looking at this five of swords card.
Seven of Wands. I'm telling you, this was some. A, this is this was something traumatic. With the Three of Swords, Five of Swords, Hateful, Seven of Swords, Hateful Attack. Three of Swords, something that caused some sort of trauma here, or to hurt somebody. Three of Cups, this was celebrated. Or a friend could be communicating something to somebody about something. Like, this ain't right. This is not right. Yeah, somebody teamed up together. Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Nava Sword. So somebody put their teachings to use. Whatever they know, they know how to hurt people. Somebody in it, teamed up with somebody because this person could be known to attack people or cause loss for people. People just so ignorant and then just I mean people just wonder why like just wonder why like people just be so so foul yeah this is this this could be how somebody make money some type of way too by sneaking people cutting people down hurting people here with the king of swords to the seven of swords with the hangman Somebody was supposed to do something to somebody, but it was a missed opportunity here. It was a missed opportunity, but somebody received some sort of money. It was some sort of exchange here to force something on somebody. Could be in a home. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they went against the grain for real. And there's money involved or somebody family involved with the Ten of Pentacles. This is some shysty, whack ass shit. <laughs> Confirmation. This is just downright shysty. I'm telling you. Somebody was somebody was being real greedy. Ten of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles, being real greedy, trying to hold on to something, but. And somebody could have been in denial about something or refusing to see something about somebody. But something is getting blocked or somebody is doing something to get something blocked. Yeah, we have to. Somebody going to get karma for whatever they're doing. Something is going to change. That will of fortune is going to change. Karma for whatever was being manifested, whatever was being planned, whatever was work. Somebody was working hard to plan. It's something sexual with this Knight of Wands. This could be somebody friend, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Something was celebrated once something was communicated. <sighs> yeah, these people are going to face a tower. Something unexpected is going to happen here with this deceptive shit and these secrets. There's some type of action that's going to get taken about whatever this is because it's foul. Something is going to be getting communicated to a man about something that was done. And the thing is, whoever this communication is going to, this person has love for Whoever did something, whoever was doing something foul to somebody, this person got love for this person. For real. It's just something that these people don't know. So these people sitting up here communicating some bullshit that they possibly did, but they don't know that whoever they're communicating to either got a whole lot of love for this person or they're attached to them spiritually for real. Like this person is a part of this person's soul family or something. 
So. Because this person is the King of Cups. But how this King of Cups look? This King of Cups don't look soft. This King of Cups don't look soft. And whoever this King of Cups is, they're not going to be pleased with whatever this is. Whatever this secret is, whatever was done that was filed to somebody else, they're not going to be pleased with that. Because whatever it is, it's definitely traumatic. Whatever it is, it's definitely an attack. Whatever it is, it's definitely hateful. And whatever it is, three people or more teamed up or know about it. There's this Queen of Pentacles, double confirmation of her. There's this Emperor. And then there's um, a King of Wands. So somebody took some type of secret action to cause some type of tower to somebody. And whoever, somebody getting that communication, this, this, this don't even got to be a physical person that know about whatever this, whatever was communicated. This is somebody that loves whoever these individuals messed over. Because whatever this is, this is foul. It's an ending coming. A cycle is closing. A cycle is wrapping up. And then the ending in the Three of Pentacles. It's going to be some endings happening to these people who teamed up together. I'm telling you, somebody used gifts and abundance to do something. And somebody accepted the challenge to do whatever this is against somebody. Them the cards they wanted to flip over. I'm telling you, look, it's some it's gonna be some lessons being learned, and there's something, there's gonna be a completed cycle, or something is coming. Here's a triple confirmation of this damn Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, no matter what they sign is, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, there's an ending coming to this person. This person might even get picked up by the police. Because whatever this person was involved in, it is foul. Something maybe even spiritually guided to occur with the star to the eight of uh, swords, this person might end up in jail. I'm telling you, somebody might end up in jail for what they were offering. Just to get a victory or the, the attention. Greedy bitch. This person could be in denial about their defeat. This person could even be trying to manipulate something or manipulate the system or something like that. Doing work. Trying to manipulate something with money. The real swords are sticking out for that ass, though. This bitch gonna suffer. It's triple confirmation of this person out here. And it's really three different decks, because these two is mixed up. And y'all, y'all won't believe what turned over. The damn magician. Justice is coming for this. Somebody about to have a difficult journey. And when I say a difficult journey, six of swords... To the ten of swords, somebody about to be at a dead end, and the people who celebrated, who people who they celebrated this shit with. Look, these people celebrated chaos. These people getting karma for this attack. There was an attack here. This was an attack here, and I don't see where it was a plot or a plan. I see where it looked like. It was either a plot or plan and somebody missed the opportunity to do somebody filthy or this happened. But somebody getting karma for even whether the attack happened or whether it was just thought of and put in motion. You're getting karma for it. There could have been multiple attacks. 
with this seven of cups, many different options. Some you could have escaped, some maybe not. But somebody is definitely worried about what the judgment is that's coming because they know what they did. This is an enemy, seven of swords. Coming up with all kinds of bright ideas on how to get you with somebody. Looking to get good news on it too. Looking to get good news, happy, causing stress and burdens. These people are going to be defeated. I mean, it's just all out in a row. Because they, they hit up somebody that got some sort of skill. Here go the King of Swords again. Somebody could be holding back from using this skill. Somebody probably ain't gonna see this coming. This this end, this hate, this this defeat, this this five of swords energy. I'm telling y'all. There's somebody who's gonna take action behind this. And they're gonna make sure it's balanced and fulfilled. Make sure it's right. The divine stepping in. Mm-hmm. Divine is stepping in. This is just like evil. It's giving set up and everything. Something is going to hurt somebody's reputation. And with these three decks being used, the, it's definitely these people, these characters, because it repeated. <laughs> it's confirmation. Could be a player trying to run from something or trying to run with some sort of money or jackpot or something like that. Somebody is guilty. Or somebody trying to get some sort of money so that they can run. Guilty of fucking other people over with no shame. Guilty. Yeah, somebody could have been very threatening. Doing the same stuff. Somebody did whatever this is based off of ego. Solely out of ego. Somebody got some type of drug addiction too. Somebody could do coke. You know, with the money rolled up. Coke or whatever you do to roll up in the money or whatever. Yeah, somebody could have even faced some sort of legal issues for their drug addictions or something like that. Something about court. Somebody could be crying, hurt, sad, and upset. Somebody shine, irritated, somebody demons. This could have been somebody fake smiling in somebody's face. Yeah, a manipulator. And then somebody was trying to neglect something about some sort of assault. This is sexual. Sexual. Yep, somebody tried to hurt somebody's reputation and tried to hurt them because their shine irritates their demons.
this is somebody's karmic friend that don't want to face judgment. They trying to ignore that shit. Somebody made a bad judgment. We have karmic friends. Can't fully trust them. Secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Somebody trying to ignore the fact that they, you know, going to be under judgment here. Somebody don't want to comment on some type of sexual encounter here. No comment. Somebody is somebody's on their last chances. To report something. To rep to report some type of abuse. Somebody could have even been abusing kids or something. Just abusing people. Yeah, somebody got many faces of fuckery. Definitely a lot of unhealthy habits. Yeah, something is going to hunt. Somebody gonna end up hunted. Something traumatic that happened to somebody could even hunt them. Like they can, if it don't hunt them, they can still feel the side effects or something. Somebody could have tried to give somebody something with these undesirable test results and whatever occurred here. Somebody thought that somebody felt like somebody lonely so that they can. They could do some creepy shit. It's some type of proof or facts of somebody doing some creepy ass shit. Karmic. Dangerous. This toxic ass shit. Groupie. It's some proof. It's some type of evidence somewhere. Yeah, now somebody want to be fed up. No, please keep your distance. It's a fuck boy or a fuck girl. Please keep your distance from these individuals. They like to team up together. If you need to block these people off of your social media, block them. Or you could have blocked somebody and it got them in their head, stressing like, oh, why this person block me or delete me? Somebody could be seeking therapy for what they've been feeling. Yeah, because somebody with animalistic sexual desires was telling half truth. This person is abusive. This person be abusing people. Whoever this is got a little bit of Ike in them. Yeah, and this person going to be in bondage, locked up, or something like that for how they fuck other people over. And then these people be tag teaming to to fuck somebody over. There go these three people again. People like the tag team to try to fuck people over. Trying to dig up dirt, but look what the fuck they was a part of. People kill me. Yeah, these some spiritual haters. They about to get tossed up somehow. Somebody hate on somebody's spirituality, they light, they power, they magic, their hustle. And they hate the fact that this person be dodging them because somebody be blocking out the negativity and trying to escape the crazy people because the people who are teaming up together, they are haters, right? And they are protecting each other. And that's just going to all get them fucked. 
Yeah, that's just gonna all get them fucked up. These people be spirit, uh, um, spiritually bullying. That's what I was about to say. They be spiritually bullying, and then they could even get and type comments and shit like that and be bullying that way. They also create fake accounts to spy and watch people. Maybe watch people who their person dealt with or whatever the hell they seen. Somebody seen somebody naked. Yeah, they getting karma for this shit. They're getting karma because this shit is played out. Somebody, this person definitely extra triggered. On fire. Curious about you. Somebody got so many bodies they done lost count. Somebody got a new baby or or pregnant with a STD, STI. This person wasting their damn time. They ain't never got no facts or no fucking truth. Whatever's going on, this shit is weird. This person just chasing their ego and talking shit. This person not sorry for trying to cock block some shit or do something to you. Sorry, not sorry. They ain't sorry. So whatever end up happening to this person is what the fuck they deserve. We have miscarriage. This person could have had a miscarriage. Sometime in their life or something like that. Somebody could be... Somebody could be being chased. This person could be chasing you, looking you up everywhere. Like, if they're not chasing you physically, they chasing you through uh, through the online, trying to get info on you, trying to study you. You could have even ghosted this situation and remain guarded. Yeah, you just divine feminine. You still, you ghosted this situation. You remain unbothered, right? You guarded yourself. Because these people, they act a certain way, but they can't fool you. Mindfuckery in reverse. You know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is. Some of these people have been tag teaming and doing black magic too. Like, damn, haven't you done enough? So let me let me see here. There's some type of sexual trauma, whether it's looking at somebody naked or, but there is a, a form of touching and or some type of assault, there's that. There's teaming up to try to mess with somebody online. There's, oh, then y'all gonna team, tag team and do black magic too. Like, like, damn, damn. Doing it to this person with this positive vibe. Good chemistry. This person is just like... <sighs> whatever happened to these people that's tag teaming and doing whatever the fuck they doing? It's, it's, it's justice. And justice came out twice. So there will be justice for whatever this is. Like, this is crazy. Like, and there's some proof out there about it. Whatever it is, it's some type of proof, some way, somehow. Or I'm giving the proof right now. And somebody going to end up sad, hurt, and getting caught up with the law. Because this is dirty. And it got confirmed within the oracle how shysty and shady and downright dirty these people is. It did say karmic friend, so we could pull um from this friend or foe deck real quick. See what we get. Because these definitely some foes, but... Somebody gonna snitch. And whoever could snitch, they, they might actually be a friend. You know what I'm saying? Because so, this could be somebody who genuinely want to see you win. Just don't let it be known 
what the hell didn't happen here? Somebody gave somebody some bad advice, but like I said, there's somebody who is actually rooting for you. You may end up thanking this person for being there. Yep, something to do with sex. And what I say, somebody is catfishing and doing some shit with some accounts and shit. And it's weird. Somebody can even be catfishing you, talking to you up under different like accounts and stuff like that. Somebody could even want you. Something is a little weird. This could have been somebody that one of these people involved or this could have been somebody who wanted to stunt with you or somebody that you wanted to stunt with. Somebody could miss you. But they could have been involved in some shit. Somebody could have been travel partners. And also, just what comes out, this could be going on because these people could be friends. Like, they celebrate with each other because they were celebrating some bullshit. So, somebody could have been traveling with somebody, too, as well. Yeah, these people was in competition. Competition, magic, roots, evil eye. Yeah, somebody was pretending to like somebody. Somebody could have crossed some type of line. Maybe they didn't want to cross some type of line, but somebody was pretending to like somebody. I pretend to like you. Somebody ain't never there when it counts. User. Somebody disrespected. Somebody character in name to the point of no return. And you could have loved these people, but putting you down somehow made them feel like they were uplifted. You the realest. And then we got Toy Story. You got a friend in me. Like, these people could have had a friend in you or somebody involved could have had a friend in you, but you ain't had no friend in them. But it do look like it, there is somebody that's involved that's like, could be a stand-up person. And they like, oh, nah. It do look like that. But whatever it is, somebody can see everything in your eyes. Yeah, we have here. Some going to be resolved, resolution, and then we have failed attempts. So there could have been some failed attempts at what somebody was trying to do. Yeah, somebody got in too deep. Somebody got in too deep, in too deep into something. Look, just know you can get through. Just trust. If you need to make all make a list of everything that you've been through to know that you're gonna overcome whatever this is too. Ooh, look what's at the top, y'all. Look, this is this is lining up for real. Trying to desperately take you out. Somebody desperate. Whatever you do, don't internalize whatever this is, because this is a them problem. sex and then we got here yeah the big payback these people gotta pay back the big payback gotta pay the ticket don't write a check your ass can't cash karma these people getting karma for whatever this is instead of trying to pick you up these people tried to put you down these people might end up going through some money issues and then look what's in my head y'all another confirmation Doing spell work or sending hate, you will have to answer to that. Even if you think you're protected, you can't hide from the almighty Yahweh. Somebody was instigating something here. Just know you were protected here. This is Exodus 14, 14. Yahweh shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. So you can lay down your, you can lay your sword down because the divine is fighting for you. Yeah, we got loose lips, sink ships in the dating app. So somebody could have put, somebody could be telling because somebody could have put somebody on a dating app too as well. Maybe because they have some sort of money issues. Because right after that, for the love of money. 
or somebody could have been on a dating app or somebody did this to you creating something fake and then we have sex somebody could have also even been competing with you but compete huh never you you wasn't on that just know with yahweh you'll never be alone This is foul. There could be a homosexual involved. Yeah, these people did this together. It's not separate. Somebody could be on parole. Or somebody might end up getting on parole. There was a spiritual assassin hired. To do a... a they could have did some type of work. So it could be like some type of a smear campaign. This is a chaotic situation, but it's a perfectly put together mess because I'm telling you, you're going to get justice. All of us are dust and shall all return to dust again, man and beast. This is this is my humbler. I call this the humbler. Somebody might end up getting humbled too as well. These people could feel broken and they try to break you down even more. You was in an unhealthy environment. Tell the vision. Tell what happened. You had to find your way in the dark. You kept your faith. You could have been praying here. We have Psalms 23, 25, 91, 120, 37, 7, 59, 54, 35, 109. You was in your prayer bag. And ongoing in your prayer bag. A marathon. It's been a marathon. There's an opposite to everything that Yahweh has made. So yeah, we all see the good and stuff like that. But we can't forget about the darkness. Or we can't forget about the evil. Because this is that opposite that we're looking at right here. Because these people are evil. Whatever they did. Yeah, adult bullies. Adult bullies, but you got saved here. Psalms 18, y'all know that's my savior um, passage. The rock, the divine being that rock. You got saved. What he'll do for you? Save that woman. These people linked up and had um, a devil high priestess or high priest. Remember that spiritual assassin manifesting against you. Doing stuff against you. You could have even seen a vision of this devil high priest. Because we got John the Baptist. John the Baptist showing the panoramic vision from the end to the beginning. So you could even have seen how things was going to end for these individuals. Or you're seeing how something began. But you got shown a vision of this devil high priestess. Or high priest, you know who they went to. While these people was doing this, you were seeking the most high. And look, it said, pull from the friend or foe deck and already did it. Look, it's an alignment. I'm telling you, is there's going to be a breakthrough here. There's going to be a breakthrough. Because this, this, they going to have to pay it back. Whatever it is they did, it's going to be a breakthrough. These people could have been mocking you. Okay, but just know there's a purpose plan in the pattern here. These people could have been mockers. They could have even been trying to mock you and shit. Yeah, these people trying to mock the new you. Trying to act like you. Trying to do things like you. They even mock you. But they don't even have no knowledge of spirit. But they're mocking you. You got that new spirit. 555 five, five, change, peace, joy, life, new smell. You got it. They're mocking it. They have no knowledge of the creator. So some of these same people that did you filthy, that did you dirty, they're mocking you. <sighs> there could have been a whoremonger involved, a sexually promiscuous man. Could be a prostitute. I did see many spells, so there could have been many spells going on. They say pull, pull music, so we're going to pull some music. And then we have whoremonger again at the top. You got to call your power back from this whoremonger. This is a goofy. This is a goofy. Anything else? Anything else we need to know from this deck? Yeah, you know you nothing and everything at the same time. 
somebody they will forever look for you and others family lovers and friends Yeah, these people was trying to manifest and be you. There's only one you and you want to be somebody else. Somebody was trying to clone you. This was their manifestation. This is what they wanted. That shit crazy. But they failed. Failed attempts. They can't be you. Yeah, wait on Yahweh and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off and thou shalt see it. So this talks about, you already know what I say when I see this too. It is the evil within yourself, but you got that handled. You was focused on the divine. This is talking about these other people. Wait on Yahweh. All you had to do was wait. You even waited through all of this shit that was being done to you. So excuse me, but we're going to read this again. Wait on Yahweh and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. You're going to see this. You're going to see this. Yep. Yep. Alarm. Somebody, it's going to be like a wake-up call. Some type of uh, alarm was set off here because these people was definitely being evil. We have here the negative spirit. We all have that negative spirit within us, and these people let it overtake them. So it's, it's in your DNA. Positive and negative. Everybody. So if somebody try to tell you they all positive, they lying. Or even all negative, they lying. This is what the negativity was dominating these people. But here is the resolution coming. Somebody could be feeling like, oh, shit, we don't know shit. Look, y'all around here backstabbing and portraying the people that love y'all. How low of a person are you? Somebody going to get an ego check. Yep, check yourself. These people didn't check they so they checked you. But you a demon slayer healer. So you about to slay these people. You be slaying that toxic waste. You, these people, these people adopted the dark, but you was born in it. You been to hell and you didn't came to the light. That's why you're a light being. These people push their self-hate onto you. Great attacks on your spirit because these people hate themselves. Some of them could even want to scream. If you need to scream, scream because you've been through a lot with this. These people could be screaming because they thought the divine wasn't nowhere near. And they listen, the divine never left his creation in the hands of man. And you got the keys knowing that. That's why you, you don't settle. You praise the most high. You focus on the message. You focus on the message. Ayer Asha Aya will be what you know the divine will will to be what he wills to be. Yep, them them deep waters. You you go deep with the divine. Because listen, yeah, deep waters. You go deep with the divine because you are a high priest, high priestess of the light. You're the light energy. And you got plenty snakes in your grass. You have plenty of snakes, lovers, family, friends, strangers, even people outside of the grass. <laughs> That's what I put on here. But you still rose, rise. You still rose because of Yahshua, the Savior. You knew it was very, very important to be patient with healing and growing. You had to find your way in the dark. You had faith. Oh, shoot. This could be for me. Here I go. Oh, yeah, I can't. Oh, dang. I be trying, I be forgetting not to show this card like this because it got my information on there, but I'm going to read it anyway. I'm going to see if I should read it because, you know, I was like, ooh, this could be about me. <laughs> but, you know, I did have to find my way in the dark, for real. That ain't no lie. Just for the people that I have to find my way in the dark. Yeah, I had to find my way through it. And that's why I could speak about these things here if the if this is y'all who've been through this because I had to endure things as well. Yep. Um, is this about me with it lining up too as well? Well, this is uh, you know, I could be involved in whatever this is too. But like I said, I did have to rise through the dark. 
had to, you know, keep my faith and find my way in the dark and be patient and, and heal and gain an understanding and grow. And the reason why I still rise and I'm that high priestess of the light is because of my savior, Yasha. But anyway, I put on my card Phoenix Dove. You already know Yana means Dove. That's in the that's the part of my name. Um, y'all, I already told y'all over and over again that I got every sign in my chart, and I'm a Yasha, a sun child, life path number nine, humanitarian. <laughs> Confirmation. I ain't gonna tell y'all my full name, but. I do have the Star of David on here because I represent men and women coming together. Me and the sun coming together. And then right after that was Yahweh. Supernal nature. Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Heavy, heavenly, erythral being. The most high. Everything and everyone is Yahweh. Some people just don't have an understanding of it. Look. There's levels spiritually. And I'm on the next level. Yeah, protect the children, pay attention, because somebody is not protecting some children, and they need to pay attention. And then also, you could, you, everybody's the divine child, okay? And, you know, I know I was being protected. Look, you have no clue on how many spells was done. You have no clue, many spells. But I'm going to always give thanks to Yahweh. This is my thank you, Yahweh deck. We're going to pull uh, some messages from there. And again, try not to internalize too much. And that's big. And that's why I said that in the reading, because, you know, this is something that I had to do, too. Like, try not to make it seem like it's just all on me because these people is doing spells or these people are trying to assault me or set me up or do ignorant rude things or stab me in the back or, you know, whatever the case may be. So this is really important to not internalize it and focus on Yahweh and that beautiful love that he has for us. This is why I did not internalize it and let it put me down. And I still rose because of the beautiful love of Yahweh. The beautiful love that I learned that the Most High has for all of us. And he lets us know that by letting us get to know him. And then I got in being some plus more. That's why I say like my gifts and stuff like that, it's a bonus. But it's a blessing in that beautiful love because I got to read, so I got to learn of them. I got to witness things, so I seen it with my own eyes, and I got to live. I live it. This is something that I live, so I get to do. And best believe I take accountability too, but people going to have to take accountability for what's going on here. You know, I had to change my perception too about things. The good thing about perceptions, they change. Some some other people could, you know, perceptions could change about me or whatever they thought about me. We have pulled from blood thicker than water, so it could be some family involved here too as well. And the thing is, I also didn't have to do anything to anybody. And that's beauty too. I didn't have to compromise my spirit. I didn't have to compromise my heart by going to get even. I didn't have to go put no spells. I didn't have to go link up with no devil priestesses or voodoo people. I didn't have to go and try to set anybody up. I didn't have to do anything because of the divine had me. No hands, pure spirit moving for you, spiritual love and grace. I was out the way. Right after that, Yahweh, Adam, the gardener, Yahshua, after he rose from the dead, looked like a gardener. So he was you know, different and still been planting seeds, plan, pattern, purpose. So I ain't even have to bust no moves for real. So, you know, but we got to pull from the Blood thicker than water deck as far as the family. We got to pull some music. I got to pull these out, y'all, so I don't forget real quick. We already pulled from that friend or the foe part. So let's, okay, we got the blood thicker than water. See what we need to see about this um, family. 
be some of these people could be family or this could be dealing with my family or like i said this is still a collective message even though i entered into it um this could be you know you all's family or something that you all had to deal with too as well So we have here poor or middle class or somebody family could be poor or some people could be in middle class too as well we have street life crime one fight we all fight that could be somebody's family's mentality we also have mental me, mental issues mental illnesses could also run in the family here then we have rich or famous so somebody may end up being rich or famous or is Somebody was hanging with the ops. Okay, so this could have been why somebody distanced themselves from their family because they was hanging with the ops. Okay, we have here, I love you. Somebody could be building an empire, you know, a good business. So you could be, you could love your people and you could be doing good business and trying to build an empire. Meanwhile, somebody got a murder plot. You may not get invited to things, no invite. You may not get invited to things because maybe some people could be, you know, hasta biggie or whatever. Somebody could have been trying to control somebody's decisions that they were making. Like I said, this could be you or anybody. Somebody was talking down. These people even talk down on you but don't even really know you like that. Somebody might end up going to jail or prison. Some of your people could be like real tight in the family, real tight, like a little close unit, but they be setting shit up, set up. Your soul family is your true family. No more going to get togethers. There could be abuse of many forms and these people like to stick together with the shit. There's something about an insurance policy here. Somebody could be healthy, peaceful, fruitful. Could be you. Yeah, you're the black sheep. You're the black sheep. Some people in your family may be thankful to have you. Yeah, some people see you as uh, being of great value. Also, you have somebody in the family, they're a hater. They're a root planner and a sacrificer. Root planner, sacrificer, so hater alert. Be of alert on that. Because they could have been trying to do something to you. So let's pull some music, y'all. Y'all know I like that. Y'all know I like that music. That got the music. Turn on the music. We got here. We have here. May J. Blige, take me as I am. <laughs> or have nothing at all. We have Beyonce move forever. So that's your move. I know that's my move. We got Mac Miller skin. That's funny. I just shared that on my uh, community uh, post. Maxwell fortunate. Nardo Wick, who won't smoke? Bree Steve's anti queen. You know, people try to probably, you know, try to judge. I know people try to judge me and try to say, you know, I ain't the queen or I ain't this or I ain't that. But, honey, <laughs> I ain't even got to say it because it, 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 it always shows. Roddy Wick, uh, Roddy, rich, high fashion. Seymour, I do, but Cynthia Ero, alive. Flo Millie, beef flow mix. Liravelli to the limit, Mick Jenkins delight. We got David Ruffin. Can we make love one more time? Key John Bryan, I just want to live. Cameo featuring Adeline Mango. Lou Wig is one of my songs too. Lou Wig featuring ASAP Rocky and Jacob Banks running. Kiana Lede, Second Chances, Kelly Rowland, Motivation. 
Dua Lipa, I Don't Give a Fuck, The Black, Angels, Life Song, Bia featuring Nicki Minaj, Whole Lot of Money, Mary J. Blige, Not Gonna Cry, Kenny Man, Not My Nigga, Keep Sweat Nobody, Young Blue featuring Chris Brown and 2 Chainz, The Baddest, Lil Wayne, Drop the World. I can down now, rebirth, motherfucker. I can put none. And that energy came out too. French Montana ain't worried about nothing. Little Dirk featuring Tiana Taylor, homebody that I am. Mary J. Blige, share my world. Kurt Franklin, I smile. And I already let y'all know my reason. Because of the divine. Because of Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, that love. Earth, Wind, and Fire, That's the Way of the World, Jay-Z featuring Kanye West, Otis, Jay-Z featuring Kanye West, and um, Beyonce, Liftoff, and Daniel Caesar, Blessed. We gon' take it to the moon, baby, to the stars. How many people you know would make it this far? I'm supercharged. About to take this whole thing tomorrow. We got here Kalani featuring Chance the Rapper, The Way, Nick Jenkins, Contacts, John Legend, Cross the Line, Cash Doll featuring Summer Walker, No Lanes. We have Donald Lawrence, This Is My Exodus, Deliver Me, Matt Chalant, Forbidden Love, Cynthia Arrow. Evro, Blowing Up, Billy Ellish, When the Party's Over, Anthony Hamilton, Charlene, Kevin Gates, Fairy Tale, Little Got It, Brotherly Love, featuring Little Key, Kendrick Lamar, Alien Girl, Today With Her, Mary J. Blige, My Life, Whew. Katy Perry, Daisy. Mario, Let Me Love You, Little Baby, Emotionally Scarred, um, Michelle, Najay, Ocello, hopefully I ain't butcher that, Fool Love Me, Jennifer Lopez featuring LL Cool J, All I Have, Marvin Sapp, Never Would Have Made It, because I show with her, I don't know about y'all, but me, I already know, <laughs> I already know for sure, Akila vibe for me. Tmar, 100 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Kodak Black, it's all on you. Cash Doll, single and happy. Chica, high rises. Kendra Man, Blick Talk. Currency, the world is ours. Young Blue, be like that. Nicki Minaj, hard white. Bill C, the Don, love again. Kalani, Toxic. And then we have here Tupac, Ambitious as a Rider. Ambitious as a Rider. Most definitely listen to that. Kate Kent featuring Jaquees, What's on Your Mind? Brie Babinox, He Paid It All. Freya Writings, Blackout. Daya Hideaway. Beyonce featuring Missy Elliott, Signs, Joey Badass, 95 Till Infinity, Little Dirt, Kanye Crazy, Kevin Gates, Time For That, Isaiah Rashad, Heavenly Father, J. Cole, Applying Pressure, Erica Badu, Next Lifetime, Kamaya, Pressure, and Kevin Gates, in that low. So those are the songs that can have extra messages in there. We'll just pop back out as uh, Mary J. Blige, Take Me As I Am. And then we have thank you messages because it's always something to be grateful for and thankful for, especially going through a, a lot of things like that and still making it out with a pure heart, you know, still remaining pure. What are, what's the thank you? What are we thankful for? 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 A lot. Ooh. A 
lot. All right, last shuffle. What are we thankful for? All right. Thankful for a lot. Y'all, I'll be saying, listen, with my energy in here too, y'all, I'll be thankful for a lot and I'll be saying it every day. Thank you for your sacrifice, Yahweh. Thank you for your word, Yahweh. Thank you for upgrading me, Yahweh. Thank you for healing me, Yahweh. Thank you for your darkness, Yahweh. Thank you for freedom, Yahweh. Thank you for solid foundations, Yahweh. Thank you for my gifts. Thank you for your beauty. Thank you for your unconditional love, Yahweh. Thank you for correcting me, Yahweh. Thank you for igniting that flame passion. Thank you for teaching me, Yahweh. Thank you for giving me grace. Thank you for an abundance of love. Thank you for your song. Thank you for being a great husbandman, Yahweh. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for never leaving my side. Thank you for your light, Yahweh. Thank you for everything, Yahweh. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for being my guide. And thank you for never leaving me again, double confirmation. And thank you for a chance at eternal life. And then we're going to pull the grateful heart messages, okay? Grateful and thankful, always. And then we're going to wrap this thing up right here. Then we're going to wrap this thing up. Let me get a grateful heart message, please. All right, so. So we have here, Yahweh delights in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Surely Yahweh is my help. Yahweh is the one who sustains me. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Carpe diem, rejoice while you are alive. Enjoy the day. Live life to the fullest. Make the most of what you have. This is the day that Yahweh has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yahweh will be your light forever. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. Give thanks to Yahweh for he is good. His love endures forever. Do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. In him, our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Yahweh, even as we put our hope in you. Y'all, I'm about to bust out crying because, y'all, this is another reason why I do what I do and I don't care about, you know, how nobody feel and what nobody think because even with the things that came out within this message, it's just a showing, y'all, that I am not just up here talking just to talk. I know for a fact that the divine is there. I know for the fact that Yahweh is there. Even with y'all. So I'm going to continue to do what I do. But we have here, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And on the real, I just you know, I know everybody may not end up experiencing it because, you know, we all have choices. But if just one of you, you know, and for real, for real, I want it for all of you to experience and know what that unconditional love is like. Because even in, even in the darkness, even in your lowest moments and your highest moments, the divine will be there and love you through everything. Even when you can't even 
figure out or fathom how would you heal or get through something. Yahweh will be right there with you. Not in just the bad times and the dark times and when evil is in there. But also when beauty and joy and then your peace is in the divine because y'all being out here in this world you gonna see things that's gonna hurt you. You gonna go through things that's gonna hurt you. And sometimes that hurt, you know, sometimes, you know, it's meant to change and help you grow. But you're going to face things out in the world. So the most high Yahweh is that peace. And no matter who you are or what you've done, the divine is open. So you can experience that peace and love and that life. Don't think I be just up here talking to y'all, getting at y'all. I've been there. I've been in that darkness. I am y'all. I just got to understand it. And I hope you all seek that so that you can know how loved you are. Even if you feel like you ain't got nobody. Even if you don't have that much, you will have Yahweh and he will fill those shoes of what is missing. You need a friend, he'll be a friend. Great husband, great teacher, great boss, <laughs> great father and mother. Yahshua, great brother. I mean, he will fill those voids and not even just with people, with sometimes with missing things because he is all you need. He will be your source and your substance and make sure that you are okay. And I can testify to that. I know what I'm talking about to you because I lived it. Living. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll be able to help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.